YouTube creator, personal trainer, beauty queen and Metropolitan Police Constable, 45-year-old Razvinda Agaliu, if that's how I pronounce it, is to face a two-day misconduct hearing started on October the 31st to face allegations that she breached the standards of professional behaviour in respect of honesty and integrity, discreditable conduct, duties and responsibilities, and orders and instructions. On June the 25th, 2020, police raided Razvinda's home address, where it said that a number of items were seized, including Class A drugs, drug paraphernalia, a large quantity of cash, and a Metropolitan Police radio. Four months later, a second warrant was executed at a former address where items allegedly seized included body armour belonging to PC Agaliu, a set of handcuffs, a set of plain epaulettes, a set of case papers and interview discs relating to the investigation of an offence by her, which concluded in December 2019, and a large number of cannabis plants being cultivated. Razvinda is said to have been suspended from duty after the first search more than two years ago and of course has been sitting off at home getting paid. Razvinda, who joined the police 19 years ago, is said to have been married to Julian Agaliu, who himself was charged with a major conspiracy after the police cracked the Encro chat phone system and were able to access encrypted messages being sent on the network. Julian was arrested at the home he shared with Razvinda in Enfield in North London. He was subsequently charged with conspiracy to supply Class A drugs after he was implicated in the movement of four kilograms of drugs uh, using and using and possessing the proceeds of crime after 10 grand's worth of cash was seized at the property. At the time, Razvinda, also known as Rajdi, vowed her husband's name would be cleared. She said, I am so upset, my kids are crying since his arrest. I am so angry now, and I can't bear my children's pain. My husband has never been arrested before in his life. I have been in the Met Police 17 years, and this is how we as a family, who have tried our best, get treated. I've had no support from the police, who have left me vulnerable. I just want justice, but the police just want to pin the blame on my husband just to show they have caught someone for the sake of it with little evidence. My children's hearts are broken and mental health disturbed, but I will fight all the way to clear his name. Well, that seems to be going well, doesn't it, Rajni? Now, I haven't found any info as yet as to whether she was actually arrested herself, as it seems the items found during the search may have been tied to her husband. But with the limited time I have I haven't been able to verify or not that she was arrested. But clearly she was involved with a criminal and that goes against police policy. Not that they care much about policy in most cases. Police are supposed to declare any involvement or friendships they have with people who are criminals. This one went a step further, a married one, which shows what she thinks of policy and procedure. Now, if the allegations are found to be proven, they would collectively amount to gross misconduct and she will either be sacked or given a final written warning. Now, of course, after the first search on her home, she claimed that it was racially motivated and absolutely nothing to do with the fact that her hubby was trying to shift 2K of drugs. She said at the time, as far as I'm concerned, it's racist. I have been in the Met Police for 17 years of service and this is how we as a family who are who have tried our best to get to, I've tried our best get treated. I've had no support from the police. They left me vulnerable. I just want justice. Whoa, whoa there. Shouldn't be telling people that you're vulnerable. You'll have the Met knocking on your door trying to take advantage of you. Silly Rajni. <laughs> now I said at the start of this report that she was a YouTube content creator, personal trainer, beauty queen and Metropolitan Police Constable. To be fair, that's what she was called in other stories that I found when looking into this story myself. But truth be told, I think the only thing that is true is the fact that she may have won the Miss Enfield beauty pageant. Now her YouTube channel not really a content creator. She has two subscribers and two videos. Those subscribers are probably her husband and the other is probably a linked account to the Metropolitan Police so they can keep an eye on her. 
I haven't yet found any information any information where she may have worked as a physical trainer, personal trainer. And although she's a copper by name, as in the fact she's suspended, that too, by the sounds of it, will be another misleading fact by the start of November. So we will keep an eye out for the result of that, and I will bring that to you when it happens.